Hey everyone and welcome to another BN Golf video. In today's video we are gonna review something, which is always reason for excitement. Today we're gonna review a GPS device and as you know GPS devices for golf come in a wide spectrum of price ranges. You have the rather cheap ones, you have the really funky spunky expensive ones. Today we're gonna check out what this little thing, the Garmin S10, offers for its price. It's in the rather low end of the price spectrum and it's not really funky spunky, it doesn't even have a color display but it might offer everything you need. We're gonna play a couple of holes, we're gonna check out what it offers and whether or not I play good with it. Alright, before we start the round you have to start the device as well. As you can see on the screen I have till about 10 this evening to finish my round. You start like this, start around, it's locating my, via satellites where, where I am and which golf course is the closest to where I am. It should be pretty quick. There we are, we are at Kledal, so we're gonna load the course. And there we have it, we're on the first hole, it's a par 5 and from where I'm standing it's almost 500 meters to the front of the green. Of course I'm not yet I'm not yet on the tee box, so that will change a little bit later on. Now, let's get started. So, now that I'm on the tee box, I have 450 meters to the front of the green, which is about 500 yards. So I'm gonna hit my tee shot and see where we end up. I find myself on the left side of the fairway, with 210 meters left to the pin um, it's a par 5 it is YouTube so of course I'm gonna go for it That roll down nicely on the green, so we can put for a birdie, possibly a par. And while I wait for a few people to pass, um, so I don't invoke slow play, I'm gonna share with you my initial thought, thoughts already. The watch is a simple design, it's easy to use, uh, but don't expect anything fancy of it. It's not needed anyway. It tells you everything you need to know so far, which, with the, which is the closest point to the green, the farthest point of the green, the middle of the green, and then you just have to guess a little bit, uh, seeing as where the flag is, how far you have left to the flag, but so far it's feeling pretty intuitive and pretty nice to use. After that first par on the first hole, I would say the watch is helping pretty good so far. Um, I, had a, I had a decent birdie chance as well, so the distances are working out so far. Now in the second hole, the second hole is a par 4 with a dog leg to the right. So we gotta see how the watch helps in that, re in that respect. The thing on this hole is that it's 367 meters to the middle of the green but it's a dog leg to the right and you've got to go past that tree over there in order to have a shot at the green here it shows that I have a good 238 meters to reach the dog leg to the right 
So I have to hit that distance in order to clear the tree and to play towards the green. I'm on the second shot on this par 4 and the GPS device, the, the Garmin S10, clearly states what I have left towards the green. Uh, so my ball is, is over there um, and from where I'm standing I have 125 meters to the middle of the green. The flag is a little bit in front I think, I still have to check that. But as you can see, without any fancy stuff, the watch really does what it needs to do. It's, it gives your distance and that's about it. That was clearly a bad strike on uh, my behalf, it has nothing to do with the watch. I totally fatted it, uh, tried to hit it too hard and I ended up in the left side bunker. But we're gonna see that I probably hit the right club if I made good contact. Um, now it's just a bit short and to the left but that's due to, well, the lack of talent of this guy. And indeed, I find myself in the bunker with a pretty difficult shot left to the green, to the pin because I don't have a lot of green to work with um, but we'll give it a go And as you can see I ended up pretty nicely with that left to save par. For the last hole of this video, I'm gonna play a par three. And the watch clearly states that to the front of the green from where I'm at, which is like four or five meters behind the tees, it's 160 meters to the front of the green. So that means it's actually 165 to the front and 173 to the middle. Now the flag, the flag is in the front, so we're gonna play the number. The number will be 165 and we'll see where we end up. And that is on the front of the green. With that left for a birdie, I would say the distance of the watch was matching the distance of my club because I hit that ball good, I hit that ball solid and it was the number that I know that I hit my club. So I would conclude that distance wise, um, this is really good. So I have, a ch I have a chance for birdie, let's see if I can convert it and then we'll conclude with the final remarks. So guys, you've just seen me play three holes with the Garmin S10 and on every hole I made par. So that's proof enough for me that everything you need is this watch to play par on every hole. Now all jokes aside, um, I promised you some final remarks on the Garmin S10. After you've seen my initial uh, thoughts about the watch and you've seen me play three holes with it, I'm gonna conclude with some, some remarks about the design. As you can see, it's very minimalistic, it's very sleek, it's just a black and white screen. It's nothing fancy, but it's more than enough. So basically, the Garmin S10 is a very light and a very compact GPS watch with a display that handles direct sunlight pretty well. So the, the numbers or, or the, the distance to the, the green is always uh, very readable. It also has four 
buttons, two on each, each side, um, with a very intuitive approach to how to, to use them, how to go through the settings menu, how to go through the course menu. Um, so also there, it's, it's very intuitive, it's very easy to use. Of course, it shows the distances to the green and to a dogleg or to a hazard as said before. And it does this in a very simplistic way, uh, with very clear numbers. You get the numbers to the front of the green, the middle of the green, the back of the green, uh, in a line uh, towards the green from where you are. Um, so if you're a little bit more to the side of the green, you get the numbers to the the first edge that you will hit your ball over in a direct line uh, towards the green. So that's very, very convenient to use. It also shows a little bit the shape of the green. So if, if the green has a, a bit of a weird shape, you will also be able to see it on the watch. Uh, or if the green is partially covered by a hill or something like that, uh, you will be able to see the shape of the green on your watch, watch so that you know what it looks like and where you can hit your shot. The Garmin S10 also has the ability to track your score, uh, but it doesn't do it automatically, so you always have to put in or confirm your score, how many putts you've did. And I found that a little bit of a hassle. Personally, I still prefer to write down the scores myself on paper. However, in the near future, I might test something out that not only keeps track of my score, but also uh, gives a lot, lot more data uh, regarding my golf game. So if you subscribe now and hit that bell icon down below, you will be notified when I upload that video. Further, the, the Garmin S10 has at least 41,000 preloaded courses. So I'm pretty sure that if you buy this thing, your course nearby or wherever you want to play will be preloaded on the watch. And uh, on top of that, it has a pretty quick satellite connection. So when you arrive at your course for, course for the first time, it just takes a few seconds to connect to the satellite, to connect to the position where you are. So in, in a matter of seconds, maybe five to, se five to 10 seconds, you're ready to go and play your round. So that's, to be honest, that's for me a pretty, a pretty big uh, plus regarding the Garmin S10. It also has a pretty decent battery life. It, uh, it can go on for about 12 hours. So if you play um, 36 holes in a day, you just have to charge it one time and you, you should be good for, uh, for the whole round or better for the two rounds, um, which can be a problem with other devices, which are more fancy spancy and have more features, but more features usually also means that you get less of a battery lifespan. So big plus for this device. And finally, we need to talk about price. The Garmin S10 comes for around 145 euros, which is $155 or about 120 pounds sterling. So it's pretty cheap watch compared to other watches or GPS devices out there. Of course, like I said, it's, it's pretty minimalistic, it's pretty basic um, in line of design, but it's very accurate. It does everything you want a GPS watch to do. It's simplistic, which is also, which, which can be a con, but in my opinion is, is a pro. Um, so price value wise, it's, it's an awesome watch. It's, it's really good if you uh, start playing golf or, or if you don't have a need for all the extra data you can get from other watches, the Garmin S10 is the way to go. And then there's only one thing left to do, and that is thank you for watching once again. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, like I said before, because there are many other videos coming in the future. Other reviews of other stuff, but also other course vlogs, match plays, etc. For now, I thank you for watching.